Professor Naoki Kanayama of the Keio University Law School is working with leading law academics across Asia to develop a basic legal framework for the regulation of commercial transactions in Asia. Our project, called PAKU, is a challenge to establish a model law applicable to all Asian countries. The uh, PAKU means the Principles of Asian Contract Law. There are already many model laws in European countries, but there is nothing parallel in the uh, Asian countries. And that's why we have started three years ago this project with uh, many Asian friends. The goals of PACL are twofold. The first is to serve as a model law for lawmakers and governments across Asia. With PACL in place, Countries across Asia who are looking to modernize their legal systems will be able to use it as a standard of reference, leading to consistent domestic legislation across Asia and universally accepted trade law agreements. The second goal is to insert PACL into trade contracts so it can serve as the basis for conflict resolution. If the PACL articles are inserted in a contractual document, it can serve as a, as a rule applicable to that case. For example, if a law applicable to the case is one of the Asian countries whose law is not so certain and not so clear, in such case, there will be a danger for the economic transactions in case of conflict. But if one can insert the PACU articles in a contractual document. The PACU will be the base of the conflict resolution. So since the PACU is the very simple rule, so one can foresee and anticipate the risk involved in such transactions. So I hope the, these two utilities, so the model law, and as a contract law, and these two utilities will be fulfilled by the realization of PAKU. Due to disparities in the political systems between the countries involved, it would be difficult for a treaty to be developed via political or diplomatic channels. Therefore, Professor Kanayama, in cooperation with leading scholars from China, South Korea, Taiwan, and Asian countries, have begun to develop this private initiative to harmonize the rules of contract law in Asia. Until today, we have been working on the uh, contracts in general, the uh, general principles of the contract. So we have worked already on the chapters on the uh, formation of the contract, the interpretation, the validity, performance, and non-performance of the contract. In order to do so, uh, one country uh, must uh, take the responsibility to prepare the draft on one chapter, for example, on the formation of the contract. In that case, we, the Japanese group, uh, worked uh, to prepare the uh, draft of PAKU articles. And then we sent the uh, draft with comments to the all uh, participants. And uh, after that, we had a PAKU forum in which all members were allowed to raise any questions and any modification proposals. Such uh, forums we, have, we had already eight times either in Beijing or in Seoul or in Ho Chi Minh City or in Tokyo. So uh, in that way, uh, we have arrived at the uh, first uh, ratified draft uh, or the uh, first uh, temporary definitive articles of PAKU on their contracts in general. From now on, Professor Kanayama would like to invite participation and input from members of ASEAN countries such as the Philippines and Malaysia, who are not yet active in the development process. Since the K University will soon create the ASEAN Law Center, so I hope that the many ASEAN students will come to KYO and uh, to study 
maybe national, uh, Japanese law, but also to participate and to help this PAKU project. Because uh, uh, we really need a daily conversation with the Asian professors or students who are interested in such Asian project.